Carolyn, certainly a, a tough one. Emotional family members out here for several hours in the cold, just trying to figure out exactly what happened out here. We're still on the city's west side near Hessel and Pearson, still a very active scene. You can see behind me this whole area is blocked off and shut down with investigators. If I walk over here a little bit, you can see in the corner there's a, a door open there. That's where this double homicide took place sometime between 6 o'clock last night and 6 o'clock tonight. Family members are telling me that both of these men were out having a good time, and sources are telling us they believe that they were followed home, robbed, and then killed. Tonight, the search continues for that gunman. And for this, it's very devastating to all of us that he's gone. And whoever did it, he, 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 he wasn't going to go out like that. So they, they, he, he probably told him to give your best shot because I'm telling you, he, that, that's just how he was. Robert Eden's mother telling us she knows her son didn't go without a fight. The 28-year-old was found shot to death in the basement of his house with another man. It was his father who found him around 6 o'clock tonight. Investigators quick to say it looked like the gunman tried to cover up the crime. They try to set the house on fire. They try, I mean, they try to blow the house up. They try to, they, yep, they had the, the uh, TVs on. They, the whole house went like gas. That's why we can't go in there. The whole house. They had, they tried to blow, they ransacked it and everything. Well, it looks like they did try to cover the tracks. Um, there was nothing lit. It's just the gas was on. And uh, sometimes people heat their homes with uh, the stove, but I don't think that was going on here. The former NFL linebacker slash defensive end with the Buffalo Bills was a father of a four-year-old boy. We're now also learning more about the second victim, 31-year-old Ricky McFarlane, a husband and father of three. His family on scene as well, trying to make sense of what's going on. Just a whole lot of people that's going to miss him. Ricky stepped up when other people didn't even step up, and he took care of his family. He was there for his friends. He was the person that everybody called on when something went wrong. I know that they're looking for someone right now. What do you want to say to that person? Turn yourself in. Two fathers killed here sometime between last night and tonight. You're looking at the scene. Still a whole lot of investigators out here. They've been out here for several hours. Right now, they're still trying to figure out if a car is missing from this scene, if one of those suspects actually stole a vehicle. As for Eddins, I told you he has a four-year-old boy. They celebrated his birthday this past weekend. For now, we're live on the city's west side, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News.